We can't see it. But we're all trapped inside these strange repeating loops. Billions of people just living out their lives. Oblivious. But this is the moment for you to show us what is real. I remember this. So deja vu. And yet it's obviously all wrong. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. They taught you good. Made you believe their world was all you deserved. But some part of you knew that was a lie. Some part of you remembered what was real. It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Something else makes the same kind of noise. War. important choice in Neo's life. It's not his to make. She believed in me. It's my turn to believe in her. Part of me feels like I have been waiting my whole life for you. If you want to see Trinity again, fight for her! Welcome back, everyone. This will be my new Matrix Resurrections trailer video. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs here, so we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a couple of big movies coming this month. We have Spider-Man No Way Home and The Matrix both dropping within a week of each other. Turns out Neo still knows Kung Fu, as you all expected. There's a bunch of new footage, so we'll just start at the beginning of this and work our way through shot by shot, talking about Easter eggs, WTF moments as we go along. Obviously, they're being very clear about them changing the narrative of the original trilogy. Like, they're kind of remixing a lot of classic scenes with new characters, giving you all these flashbacks, making you wonder what's real, what's fake, what have we been watching this whole time? Jessica Henwick's character even asked the question, why are the machines messing with this old Matrix code if they're trying to build something new? And the whole idea that maybe the narrative of the original Matrix trilogy of the war between the humans and the machines and how the Matrix, the power of the one, figures into all that goes deeper than what we saw play out in those original movies. Like, what we saw in the first three Matrix movies wasn't the whole truth or the whole story of it. The other big new thing in this, obviously, too, is bringing back Jada Pinkett Smith's Niobe character, but a much, much older version of her character. Like, they've aged her up way, way more than they've aged up Neo's character. And I think that's all part of the way that they play with the timeline during the original movies. Like, during this, we see old Neo with his head shaved, looking like the humans have saved him from the machines, like he's been unplugged from the Matrix again. And he looks a little bit older, like he looks like normal 50-something Keanu Reeves, like they haven't aged him up or aged him down or anything. It's not really clear who's looking at him in this scene here, but this seems like Neo's body in the tank here, in the human battery farm, just like the first movie, implying that after the events of the Matrix Revolutions, the machines found a way to save his life and plug him back into the Matrix so that they could have their battery cake and eat it too. Like back to the same old, same old. And I think the reason why Niobe looks so much older that way more than 20 years have passed, and when the machines plug a human body into these big battery farms here, they found a way to slow the aging process so they can just get more juice out of each human battery. Like, the longer you can keep a battery alive, the more juice you can get out of it. 
So maybe in the real world, like 40 or 50 years have passed instead of the 20 that it seems like. They did that during the first movie too, when Morpheus is telling Neo what really happened, the true history of the world. Like you think that it's the late 20th century because it was 1999 when the first movie came out, but really it's actually the late 22nd century. Like it was 200 years later than Neo thought that it was. But like I said, it does seem like they're intercutting all these scenes from the old movies with new actors remixing scenes and making all these references to try and turn a lot of the tropes of the original trilogy on their head. And it seems like Neo and Trinity's relationship, the mythology of the one, Neo's power is a big part of that. And if you rewatch some of these trailers, the funny thing that they're doing here is the trailer footage has been treating Trinity almost like she's a more important character to the plot than Neo is. Like each of the new trailers have just given us a little bit more with her character and all the footage we've seen so far is mostly seeing her through Neo's perspective. Like she's also somehow been trapped inside the matrix again like you can see her in the tanks here and he's trying to save her while also being trapped inside the matrix himself. I know there's a lot of questions what's going on with Trinity's new seeming powers like did she develop new powers or did she just not fully understand her powers during the events of the original trilogy and what's going on with this white light that happens when they touch each other like when you see all these agents exploding around them you see them standing next to each other like you see them touch hands and boom there's this giant shining white light as if somehow they're trying to recontextualize the power of the one and how that works. And somehow Trinity is just a much more important part of that. The funny thing you notice too is that when he's in all these scenes where he hasn't quite woken up yet again, like he's trapped inside this fake version of the Matrix or this new version of the Matrix, it seems like the machines are kind of soft trolling him with a lot of references to things that he did in his past. Like all these scenes with him just seem like references to critical moments or big battles that he had during the original trilogy. Even in this scene here when he's inside the bathroom looking at these pills like he's taking some kind of antidepressant that his psychiatrist within the matrix prescribed to him this program of a psychiatrist all the pills are blue as if the machines are trying to soft troll him subtly train him to want to stay inside the matrix because in the original Morpheus red pill blue pill scene the blue pill was meant to represent someone who did not want to wake up to reality to leave the matrix. And speaking of Morpheus, I know there are all kinds of questions about what's going on with this younger looking version of Morpheus. They did say that it was like a completely different spin on the character and I know there are a lot of theories that he's actually just another program because you see a couple different versions of him throughout the trailer. You see a version of him dressed like a regular agent wearing the same sunglasses that all the normal agents wear but then you see the other scenes of him wearing the colored suit wearing the sunglasses that Morpheus wore during the original trilogy. They have him doing this new version of the red pill blue pill scene that seems just like a remix of that original scene where he asks Neo to show them what's real. Why would the machines be asking him that? Is this just another trick that they're trying to use to keep him trapped inside this new version of the matrix? Or are the machines themselves also trapped inside their own version of a matrix unable to decide what's real and what's fake? If you think about it, the Matrix movies are all about trying to break the loop like the humans trying to reclaim a version of independence from the machines. So in a way, the machines themselves are also kind of trapped inside a loop. Like if machines could evolve, why wouldn't they have just found some other form of power to create? Why are they still on planet Earth when they could just leave and go colonize another planet where they could get all the sunlight for solar energy that they want? Like why not go live in space? So part of the plot of the movie might also be the machines trying to evolve past their need for humans as batteries. For those of you asking about all the Agent Smith scenes and references, this seems like they want you to think that Jonathan Groff is playing the new version of Agent Smith just because he's quoting all of his lines from the first movie. But we also kind of got a flash of an old Agent Smith, like old man Agent Smith in the last trailer when he's staring into the mirror. Like it's supposed to be Neo staring in the mirror, but then it seems like he gets a flash of old Agent Smith, like he's unsure of who he is. And it seems like this is connected to the scenes of young Morpheus giving him the new remixed version of the red pill blue pill speech. The only other really big question that we have right now in present day is what's going on with the architect because he was obviously still alive at the end of Matrix Revolutions when he was talking to the last version of the Oracle about how their peace with the humans wouldn't last. This is temporary. So a version of the architect would still be around. The question is, is who's going to be playing him if it's not going to be the same actor just coming back. So just post all your theories in the comments below. What is really going on here if they're trying to tell us that the story that we got in the original trilogy is not the whole story. Like there is some deeper loop that everybody is trapped in. Like the humans are still trapped in those loops but somehow the machines themselves are also trapped in a loop of sorts. 
Marvel and Sony just dropped a bunch of brand new Spider-Man No Way Home footage and trailers, so I'll do a video for that next that should post tomorrow. Be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss that. You can click here for my brand new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer video and Easter eggs, and click here for my brand new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.